It's day one, the world's strongest man. Let's go. What's happening, guys? It is the morning before day one of uh, world's strongest man. My bag has finally arrived. It came in about one o'clock last night, so I'm buzzing with that. Have everything. Thank you to everyone for helping along the way. But we are ready. If you're worried about me before, you should be very worried. Now I've got my nothing back. Oh, just don't worry about me. I see pancakes. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna have food. You've had your pancakes, and we we'll have pancakes and get down. So. It is a very early. It's the earliest we've started for the World Strongest Man. Three events on the first day has never been done before, and. 8am in the morning, we're going to be lifting weights. Wish us luck. We'll see you down there. Oh, I'm not going to be that. I'm not going to be I do, I do. Oh, I appreciate the support, man. Oh, you, you know, know it. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, man. Enjoy today, guys. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. What's going on guys? It's day one of World's Strongest Man. We have Luke and Tom here ready for battle, groups one and two. And uh, there's a big turnout and the boys are looking hyper focused, so let's go. Best of luck Team Stoltman, we're from Virginia, Fredericksburg, Virginia. We're here to support you guys. Best of luck guys. Best of luck Luke and Tom. All the way from Shetland in Scotland. Woohoo! Hi Cushy, I just wanted to uh, let Luke and Tom know all the best. I believe Luke is going to make podium this year, I'm predicting that. Um, and of course Tom's going to get number three. Uh, been a fan since 2018 and I'm from Chicago. Drove all the way here to see him. And you and Ben. I did say hi to Ben. He gave me the thumbs up. <laughs> Hey Luke and Tom, great to see you again at Worlds. We came all the way from Ohio to see you. You've done really great so far. Hopefully you're just coming out and getting better and we can't wait to see you in the finals. Lots of luck Luke and Tom. Go on Tom, do it three times. Hey Tom, hey Luke. Best of luck from Montreal, Canada. Stay spicy. Best of luck to Tom and Luke. Some out there. Anyone from Scotland out here? Andy! Yeah. 
morning. Good morning. How are you Hi, feeling? I'm good. How are you? Good. <clears throat> you excited for today? I'm very excited for today. Yeah. Mm. Looks like there's actually a reasonable amount of fans, which is a big contrast to last year. So hopefully we can get excited and put on a good show. Let's get it. Let's <laughs> taking a group photo, waiting for the rest of the guys to come. Yeah, strong man, let's go! They're all hibernating under the tent. What time the next? What time the next? Uh, twelve, I think. That's what we're waiting for. They said we're waiting for people to escort you So first event is done, we've got a bit of a break before the next one, um, really happy with how it went, it's a tricky one, the first event you want to sort of shake the cobwebs off, World's Strongest Man is a it's a long event, so we get out there, the sand was a bit trickier than everyone expected. I think Tom did really well, he sort of kept his head together, made a couple of fumbles, but performed really well and picked up a lot of speed near the end. Luke did great, I think um, the height was a little bit tricky with the soft sand, it was awkward to get it on, but his time's good. This sort of deadlift for the next event suits him well, so he's out in a good place and really looking forward to seeing what happens next. Hi guys, Nathan Payton. I'm Tom and Luke's nutritionist. So first meal of the day here at World Stress Man as far as catering goes, it's kind of like a build your own uh, Subway or Jersey Mike's or something like that. So various trays of cold cuts as well as various sorts of breads. And there's two varieties of potato salad. Uh, it's an interesting allotment of items for the athletes to choose from for World Stress Man. So we made the best that we can in that situation with the various cold cuts and then focusing on the breads and the potato salad as far as the carb aspect to get them loaded back up. I have things with me too, so we'll keep them stacked up for the rest of the day. But uh, yeah, so that's what they're doing. Event one down and a interesting catering to finish. Yeah, 
because there's fucking pictures. More it. No resting. No resting with it. Rest with it on the floor, but don't rest with it on your legs, please. Oh, you can still hit it. You can still yeah. yeah, as much as you want. I would call that jacket. And you can do whatever the fuck you want. But there's two no I call that the power zone yeah. left over Mario. Uh, Come on, you know. Yeah. It was a Dave Austin originally. Was it really? Oh yeah. Actually, on the stairs, you think? Yeah. Oh, what the hell? Oh, what Sitting in Graham Hicks's pee.
for the farmer boy strength. Okay, how about who's your uh, strongest seven-year-old? Who's your strongest seven-year-old? Two or three questions. How did you create these two monsters? I had a good woman. <laughs> a really good woman. Simple. No, no kidding. You, you, you haven't just produced two of the strongest boys in the world. You're the first, I mean, the first pair to ever make it into the finals. I mean, it's unbelievable. The Samuelsons were the, the other two, but they never did that. But you also produced two incredibly humble, kind fellas. I mean, it must... It's almost hard to, to see, isn't it? Making, I can see you well enough here. You're making me cry now. Go ahead, Bingham. No, seriously. Go. Be tough now. It must, must be a great thing for a father. For, for sure. Um, I mean, we're from a little place in the north of Scotland. Um, and we just worked hard. Played hard, supposedly. And uh, the two boys. So Luke, Luke is my hero. Because he looks after Tom. Has done as Tom was a little boy with his aut autism and uh, wasn't getting anywhere really in school and with work it was, he was finding it hard so uh, Luke had started being the strong man and then took Tom under his wing the rest is history I mean, dear me two, two brothers from uh, a little place in the north of Scotland and now they're kind of known throughout the world. Brilliant. Um, what do you think of the today's performances? You, you worried at all? Are your boys on form? I always worry. <laughs> always. But no, they're... Uh, I think they're doing reasonably okay. And there's still some better events for them to come along. So... Uh, yeah, just see how it goes. But I mean, the whole the whole group of men that are here are just incredible. Um, fair play to everybody. You know, it's uh, it is quite incredible. Right? The standard. Big Tom was lying on the sofa in there, and I uh, I went up to him, and he was having a half snooze, and I said, "Geez, he, you know, is, is your, your deadlift? Ooh, wasn't wasn't quite what I thought it was going to be, right, Tom?" And he went. Don't worry, the champ doesn't have to show it until the final. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's, he's so calm. He's so he calm really about it. so chilled it. about it all. <laughs> yes, yes. No. I, I, I thought that was just a priceless line. Yeah. He's, more, he's so confident. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, you know, I, I first met Tom at the Highland Games in Scotland. And yeah, yeah. Yes, of course. I, I was there. You were there? What? Yeah, yeah. In uh, Glasgow. Well, what's yeah, the outside here? Glasgow. Yeah. Oh, where uh, Gregor's from? Um, Kilmarnock Highland yeah, Games. Yeah, yeah. And and I think Luke was competing. Luke. Tom wasn't actually competing. No, no. But he, he might have been seventeen or something. Did he something not do? He, we managed to talk him into doing the the Husafelt stone though. I think that? so. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And he stripped off his T-shirt. Yeah. And, I, and, and he didn't he didn't really speak much then, did he? No, no. He, he wouldn't very, speak very to shy. Him. Very shy. I mean, yeah. cripplingly so. Yeah. yeah. And then he just kind of took off his T-shirt as a 17-year-old boy. I don't think he'd even done much training at all no. then. And this Greek god just lifted this up and destroyed everybody else yeah. in yeah. Scotland's Strongest Man with a pair of jeans with no yeah. warm-up. And we were like, my goodness me, if this guy wants to start training, it would be absolutely immense. So... Obviously, Luke is considerably older, isn't it? What's the age gap? Ten years. Ten, ten years. years. Ten years. And that, they're not the only two you have. Who no, there's another got? one. There's uh, another two. No, another one lad. One lad, yes, of course, yes, yes. <laughs> up, up and coming. Uh, up and coming, indeed. Yeah. And he's going to do strongman as well? I believe he will. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he's, he's only six foot five, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Well, I mean... Listen, let, let me not take up too much of your rest time here, and, and, and as ever, thank you very much for coming and speaking about Oh, thank about you, them. thank you. Uh, and, and, you know, uh, I hope you guys all appreciate, obviously, Ben is not uh, a part of the MC team here, but we always drag him up. So please, everybody, a round of applause for Mr. Stoltman. Thank you. The man who produced the Stoltman Brothers. Thank you.